Hi, I'm Corey. Welcome to the Healthy Families MIS video training series. During this video, we will review how to enter the service plan in the Healthy Families MIS. If you have questions about content, please contact your program or contract manager. The service plan is an ever-changing document that is updated regularly based on discussions between the supervisor and the home visitor. These discussions are recorded in the MIS to support the collaborative nature of the ongoing supervisor and home visitor work. Both the supervisor and the home visitor have access to the service plan. This makes it easy to refer to the plan anytime the home visitor requests or requires guidance in their service to their families. Ideally, the contents of the service plan are developed jointly between the home visitor and supervisor during supervisions. However, each program can determine what works best for them as far as who initiates the service plan, inputs the information, and updates it within the MIS. Let's take a look at the service plan in the MIS. As always, we are using a test site, so all the data you will see is fake. The service plan is located within a case under Forms. The service plan follows the case hierarchy, and it is available for data entry after the ID and contact form has been completed. Click on the service plan link to open the form. This is the first entry of the service plan on this case, so we will click the New Entry button. The PC1 ID is pre-filled. If the frog has been entered, the frog date will appear along with the date of the first home visit. Once the TCID form has been completed, the target child's name and date of birth will also appear. As I mentioned, this is the first service plan we are entering, so this field is blank. But the date will be pre-filled on all subsequent service plans. Enter the date and the name of the home visitor. Scroll down to see all 14 domains of the service plan. Note the different headings for each domain across the top. Click the boxes on the left to enter narratives accordingly. Here is where the protective factors are documented and the risk factors are captured here. Enter any notes with the date of the discussion. Click the priority box if the supervisor and home visitor have agreed to focus on certain domains. As always, we recommend that you submit to save after completing each section to avoid timeouts, which could result in losing your work. At the bottom of the form, there is an additional source button. This space is great for documenting all the concerns discovered through any additional tools such as depression screening, cheers check-in, ASQs, or other concerns that come up through conversations or observations during home visits. Again, if you want or need guidance on the content of these fields, please contact your contract or program manager. Once all the information has been entered, Click Submit one final time to leave the form. Once the initial service plan has been entered, the landing page will show two options, the Edit and the Prefill buttons. Let's define both these options. The Edit option allows you to correct the current service plan. For example, if you forget something or need to add or edit any information that was gathered on the initial service plan, Click the Edit button. Notice the service plan date is pre-filled. Do not change the state. Once your changes have been made, submit to save. To update the service plan with new strategies or to note progress or changes since the last update, you will use the pre-fill option. Notice the service date field is empty. 
Enter the date of the most recent discussion with your supervisor. Supervisors can also change the home visitor name if another home visitor is now in charge of the case. The notes from previous discussions are here. Enter all the updates, plans to be implemented with the family, progress and notes from discussions during supervision. Then click Submit to save. Continue to update the service plan as needed during the life of the case. This will create a history of events and progress that can be seen on the landing page of the service plan. Remember to click the prefill button of the most recent plan to pull a complete history into the newest entry. This ends our video demonstrating how to enter the service plan. We hope it was helpful. We appreciate your taking time to view this video. It will be posted on our blog along with other training videos and training documents. Take care and we'll see you next time. Bye.